National Teachers' Day was celebrated in all Albanian schools today with children running to their teachers with bouquets of flowers and gifts as a sign of appreciation and love for their second parent. The Civil Service Commission has reviewed the recruitment processes of more than 2,800 appointments to job roles within the Civil Service, noting 839 cases of irregular appointments in violation of the recruitment process. The head of the EPCA was summoned to report to the Production Activity Commission to address concerns regarding mobile telephony fees and the practices of the institution he leads. Good evening, it's six o'clock on Wednesday, the 7th of March, 2018. Welcome to the English edition of Aura News and happy Teacher's Day to all the educators watching. My name is Alexandra and I'm here to bring you the day's top stories from across the country translated into English. The gifts had been prepared earlier. In the morning, they brought fresh flowers and everyone went to school to wish their teachers well. The Aura News camera found a teacher in Elbasan somewhat unprepared for the strong emotions of the student-teacher relationship. First grade students at Andon Zodza School in fear surrounded their teacher with bouquets of flowers and congratulations while waiting for her embrace. Almost every classroom had similar emotions and festive atmosphere this March 7th, regardless of the state of the building, the city or the village where it is located. But despite the joy that the day brings, the shine of the teacher's figure has faded over the years due to the problems with the education system and the political interference. Therefore, retired teachers seek engagement to restore the splendour of yore to schools and teachers. About 30, 37,000 pre-university teachers celebrated the day commemorating the inauguration of the first teaching in Korcha on March 7th, 1887. The Civil Service Monitoring Commissioner has submitted to the Parliament the monitoring report for 11 ministries, the Prime Minister's office and 39 municipalities, including former communes. In the assessment of the recruitment process, as well as the merging of the institutions due to the government reform, the Commissioner has detected incidences of violations in appointments made. During the review of the employment process, uh, verified 2,803 appointments to positions within the civil service. Of these, 1,964 cases were found to be in accordance with the requirements of the law. However, 839 appointments were deemed irregular and found not to have respected the recruitment procedures. In the instances of irregular appointments, the person responsible must regulate the employment relationship, starting with the immediate termination of the employment relationship and renewed announcement of the vacancy. However, the trend of movement within the civil service system, either transferring into roles at the same level of the hierarchy or through promotion, continues to grow. This can be seen as an indicator of increased confidence in the civil servants. Meanwhile, 33 disciplinary measures have been taken by the Institute of Discipline in the civil service, with three cases relating to very serious violations with the perpetrators being removed from the civil service. Through 2017, 91 complaints from employees were submitted to the commission and 88 cases the institutions have implemented the decisions made by the commissioner. Regarding the cases of non-enforcement of the decisions, they have been mainly found in the local administration and relate to the cancellation of illegal appointments. The report underlined that during the past year, an application process was foreseen for 1,072 executive, middle level and entry level job positions. However, this process was not applied for 591 vacancies. Vacancies. The Electronic and Postal Communications Authority has entered a consultation process with interest groups on the issue of mobile telephony fees. Called to report to the Production Activity Commission, the head of the EPCA, Ilir Zela, said he has acted in conformity with the law in this process and was not affected by the concerns raised by the mobile operators. However, the chair of the Commission, Socialist MP, Eduard Salsi, said that the EPCA has been hasty in the process. The EPCA started the hasty process without having done the appropriate studies, insisted Eduard Salsi. Ilir Zela responded by saying, we acted in accordance with the law. The chair of the commission was also critical of recruiting employees on a political basis. Meanwhile, according to Zela, this institution is in the process of reforming. The Democratic Party and the Socialist Movement for Integration, the two main opposition parties, still have no clear political path. 
The chair of the Socialist Movement for Integration's parliamentary group, Petrit Vasili, in an interview for Aura News, said it is still too early to discuss a common political platform. He went on to stress that the country's decriminalisation and the ending of bad governance are emergencies. It is still too early to discuss with the Democratic Party the priority is for the moment to fight against the government, said Petrit Vasili. But the historic ally of the Democratic Party, Republican Party Chairman Fatmir Mediou, considers the DP-SMI collaboration as the, of the opposition as indispensable. However, when it comes to extending their relationship to electoral battles, he raised some questions. The right wing, he suggests, before mechanical political unions, should aim to unite its own factors. We need to bring together the right factors and then look at collaboration with others, said Fatmir Mediou. Regarding electoral reform, the head of the Republicans demands that everything be focused on the system as the consequences of the poorly established processes are the problem of the elections. The system needs to change, said Fatmir Mediou. But Petrit Vasili says the reform should focus on defence mechanisms against the purchase of votes with crime money. Buying votes must end, demanded Petrit Vasili. The Electoral Reform Commission is expected to meet on Friday. The parties have agreed that the focus of work should be the recommendations of internationals, while the Democratic Party insists on using electronic technology. Energy Minister Damian Jiknouri shares the same views as the Albanian Power Corporation, stating that the flooding of the Subshkodra region is not the result of discharge from the hydropower stations. Those few floods that have occurred have not happened because of the discharge of water from the cascade. Let's not forget that there is a regulation that manages the cascade. There is a good administration. That means the natural streams here are twice what is being discharged today. So nature brings 2,500 cubic metres of water. They discharge no more than 1,450, meaning that the rest is being reserved and managed within the cascade, said Damian Jiknouri. The minister went on to add that he does not agree with the bills from past floods being referred to the corporation. Compensation is generally provided, though at the time it was referred to the Albanian Power Corporation. In my opinion, and from the information I have, they have been charged with a responsibility they did not bear, explained Damian Jignori. Jignori made the statements while inspecting the Vau Ideas hydropower plant. The warning is that we will have further rainfall, a large part of the snow, you know, is melting, and potentially the flows will be great. If this happens, we will be forced to discharge more, but I am convinced that from this data we will not be in the dimensions of the 2010 discharges, concluded the Minister for Energy. On the day of March 7th, Mayor Arion Veliai stated that the construction of new schools in the capital te will end teaching across two separate shifts. This year, we will add new schools in Tirana. The Kosovo school opens in September with tripled capacity as a model school for our city. The Sorvete Marchi Music School will also open this year. There will be more new schools. There will be model schools open 24 hours as community schools. We will start the first five in the spring, five more in the summer, and five in the fall to permanently end the, the issue of teaching across two shifts in Tirana, declared Erion Veliai. Meanwhile, the Minister of Education, Sports and Youth, Lindita Nicola, thanked the Mayor for the successful model he has delivered as the Head of City Affairs and for the construction of new schools. I am very proud that I have the opportunity to be beside these talented teachers today and to wish them well for March 7th. Thank you, Erion, and allow me, on behalf of the entire education team of Tirana and all of Albania, to thank you wholeheartedly for the model of success at the top of City Affairs. Thank you for doing so much for schools, teachers, students and their future, praised Lindita Nicola. Veliai and the Minister of Education made the statements from the Lake Park where, together with the students and teachers, they planted trees. The new trees form a protected area of the lake dedicated to teachers named the Path of Knowledge. There are many, these are many years old pines destroyed in recent days by the fearsome progress of the sea at Kunevain. The risk alert was raised long ago, but the recent rain has worsened the situation. For years, erosion has taken away large areas of sand and now the pine belt is being lost too. The municipality of Leja is suffering from an economic inability to manage the situation and as such, the Ministry of Environment has started planting trees. The idea is to save Kunavain with the businesses in the area ready to invest in the construction of wave breakers. The sea has advanced at least 30 metres onto the land, causing the environmentalist Yak Gini to raise an alarm. Urgent measures need to be taken, warned Yak Gini. 
Since 2003, erosion has been very aggressive on the coast of Kuna, evidenced by the submergence and disappearance of the bunkers that once watched over the water. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join me again every Monday to Saturday at 6pm for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.